Good morning, y'all. I look a mess because we are in rush mode. We forgot three things so far at the house. Forgot the shopping list, forgot my memory card for my camera, and forgot a drink because I will be parched soon. So that's what's going on today, and this car is really loud. If you know what a Volkswagen Jetta, the diesel is, that's what it is. I got my bang so I can be able to cooperate with Adam today. Yeah. So we're going grocery shopping and slam it harder. Watch the wall. <laughs> so we got our grocery list. It's only a little bit, but it's enough to keep our house content, you know. Yesterday was rough. I am regretting those five pickles from yesterday. Um, yeah. So, my camera might die. I don't know how long it's going to last on two bars. Last time it lasted an hour. So, I will keep you guys posted. If my camera dies, I will go on my phone. So, the first stop we're doing is Walmart. The second stop is Sam's Club. And the third stop is Aldi's. Yes. And it's Sunday, so it's going to be packed. And he's texting and driving. Okay. Don't call the cops. So I will keep you guys posted on what we do. My glasses are smudged. That's all I see is a big smudge. So I'll keep you guys posted on what we do. And yeah, peace loving donuts. Well, peace loving keto friendly donuts. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> bye bye. Okay, so we just got home from grocery shopping. That was chaotic. We always say we never want to go out on Sundays because it's too busy and we always go out on Sundays. So I'm going to show you guys what we got. It's kind of small, but it's gonna last us. And we also have, again, we have a lot of meat in our freezer, which we have to start making room for and get rid of and use. But this is a small keto haul again and we don't go crazy on meats because we did. Howdy. Because we did buy expensive steaks for today for my parents and they're coming over later tonight so we might be making a mixture of things. We might do coleslaw. And update, I still haven't found my Keto Mojo. I have no idea where it's at and I'm very depressed about it. So I will show you guys what we got for our Keto haul. Mom said she got it. So, you got it? no, she got parchment for us. Oh. So we got a can of green beans. This is for a pretty boy because he doesn't like broccoli. So we got canned green beans. We have some pre. Why do you have to make it about me. Because you don't like broccoli. I don't like cooked broccoli. I hate cooked broccoli. So we have our pre-cooked sausages for the mornings. We have a bag of avocados so we can make our guacamole and chips today if we get that done. He wanted sriracha for who knows what reason, so we got some sriracha for him. Hey, look what I found! You look real hard. Oh, you found my Keto Mojo! With all your other shit. You look real hard. He's paying that back because he... Yeah, I'm rubbing it back in her face. <laughs> Scream louder, maybe the freaking... I'm rubbing it back in your face. <laughs> Yeah, so... I gotta go cut grass. Okay. Well, he lost his shirt this morning, and he looked really hard. Oh, you just stripped on the camera. So he lost his shirt. I hate you so... I'm gonna put this in a dishwasher. Oh my God, put that there. I'm putting it in the dishwasher. Here it goes. Here it goes. It's in a dishwasher. You throw it at me. That's what you get. So, anyways... What'd you put it? You didn't put it in there. <laughs> They're all clean dishes. Yeah, you think I'm joking? Anyways, so he got some sriracha. Sriracha. For what? I don't know. He got. We got a bag of pepperoni. We also got a bag of coleslaw. So we might be making coleslaw tonight for our cookout. We also got these are at Aldi's. These were two eighty five, I believe, a dollar cheaper from Walmart. We got four sticks of Kerrygold butter. Really wish this would be informed into tubs because it would be less stressful. Anyways, we got our two blocks of cheese. We got the mozzarella cheese to make fathead pizza this week. 
We also got a block of cheddar because we are almost done with the other stick. We got a bag of onions. Not ideal, but it is what it is. It's not going to kill us. We're losing weight with eating onions, so that's what we have. We have two and a half pounds of ground beef chuck. That's for whatever we find reasonable. We also, I saw this on Lauren Brazy's YouTube channel. She says there's less water in this, in the squeeze container. So we are going to give this a try because he uses it and there's so much water. He has to dump it upside down to keep the water or whatever. I don't know. I don't eat sour cream. But we're going to give this a try. This was only a dollar forty-eight for this thing. So we're going to give that a try. We also got my bags of lovely broccoli. We these. We also got my bag of broccoli. Now what are you looking for? My earplugs. In the back seat of my car. We got my big bag of broccoli. Interrupted again. And this is going to do good. And then we went to Sands Club and got these lovely, lovely colored steaks. They were very expensive. So they better be very good. These were $37.99 for four pounds of ribeyes. I wish we had sales like Texas does, but I guess not because PA is horrible. We also got some more spatulas because we only have one spatula. We have no idea where they all went. So we got a set of spatulas and we also got deodorant and toothpaste for pretty boy. So that is our keto haul. Got some school supplies. I got this little pretty planner. Make today amazing and it starts in July. So that's super pumped about that. I got hot, threw my hair up. Got some sticky notes and some colorful note cards with some white note cards. I also got a new notebook because my other one is like half empty. So I got a new one and that should be ready because tomorrow is going to be crazy and I don't know if I'm vlogging tomorrow because I'm going to be there from 9 to 3 p.m. So I will keep you guys posted and show you what goes on throughout the day as he starts stuff. So that is our grocery haul and if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I like spent money yesterday at Big Lots. I needed a lot of fall stuff. And also, I forgot to mention that my mom bought me a big thing of parchment paper from Sam's Club. This big thing she got me a while ago that we just found today. So that's good. So yesterday we went into Big Lots. I was like, we need to go to Big Lots. I need to get some fall decor because when we moved in we thought we had a lot of stuff because we didn't have a kitchen table we didn't have dining room table we didn't have sofas so i bought all this stuff like yeah I'm super pumped about fall i got a lot of stuff for fall and he has to cut the grass right there so i was like we have a lot of stuff for fall yada 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 we ended up not having anything so i went and got a whole bunch of stuff i got this thankful sign it's just a wooden wall decor that you hang by the string. I wish they would make these that you could put onto the wall. So I might like drill holes into the sides so I can hang this on my wall. We also got a Hello Autumn sign. Super, super cute and affordable. Yes, we broke bank, but he loves me. And yeah, if you watched yesterday's video, we got this Hello Autumn sign. I'd really like to make this, but I'd rather just spend the money than buy everything that costs more than how much it costs. We also got this little cute little pumpkin soap. This was only four bucks, and I didn't know it was scented until I got home, and it smells so good. Also, I got these cute little table pieces. They have little burlap bows on it, and I mean, they're pretty poor because I work with bows every day, so this bow is a little depressing and sad, huh, Pia? That's depressing. So I got these little table pieces and I'll show you where I placed them too in the living room. And also yesterday we got this bag of bowl filler and I put it in this little container that I got from Big Lots. This is all from Big Lots. So I got this cute little container that says blessed. And I believe this was only like six bucks. And that's some pumpkins, some filler bowl material, no idea what it's called. And we also got a sign and it looks just like this. We also got this sign. He really wanted this sign because there was a truck on it and it was cheap. Welcome to the farm. I mean, yeah, can't really get more farmy than this, you know. And I also got that one that's down the hall. We just have to find a home for it. He just found a random nail. So that's where it's at for now. So I'll show you where we place everything. I got to put the groceries away. But this is quick. My house is a mess. But I got little leaves here. This is my one side table that I have. We got that bucket yesterday. 
We also got this from my mother. Both of that's from my mother. We got a pumpkin spice candle. And then I got this a long time ago from a friend. She made it for me and it's super cute and it goes with our color scheme. I also got my little bucket that I got when I first bought the house. So those pieces are on the side, so adorable. And then I just kind of like randomly filled it with the rest of the bowl filler because I didn't have anything else to put it in. And then we also, shout out to Dorman, we still have your raw candy from last year. Um, it's just chilling there, don't judge, that's just how it is. So, that's cool. And then this also goes with everything, the color theme, the bless theme, you know. So what I like about these two pieces that I have is it says blessed on one side, but on the other side, it says nothing. So if I think there's too much blessed stuff in this house, I can always switch it over, you know, change it over and fill it with different things throughout the years. The same, the same with this. This is from At Homes. I can just flip it over and change it, but I'm not going to because I think it's really cute and adorable. So, as you can see the different lighting in this house. So, he found my Keto Mojo. I'm super excited because now I can test my ketones. I'm going to put the groceries away and I'll be right back. So, I am done. I cleaned the house for my parents to come over later and I know I'm lacking on water because I have a headache starting. So, I'm gonna chug this glass of water and also drink some of this Powerade once it cools down because I haven't drank water all day. I had like one sip of Powerade, that was it. So I know that I'm lacking water, so I will keep you guys posted throughout the day on what we do and what we're doing for dinner. I think we're doing steaks and broccoli and veggies and coleslaw, we'll find out. I'll keep you guys posted. So we made the recipe for the chips. They turned out great. Um, My batch turned out great. He's being a dope. So this is his batch. And the second batch that he made. No, you made that. Uh, you made this batch. I, made I cut what it. You wanted me to. I made this batch and I cut it the way I wanted it to and did it the way I wanted it to. So let's see how they taste. Let's see. They stare me down. They're not crunchy because they're too thick. I think they're good. Holy moly, plenty of thin. But these, he didn't do the squeeze test at Aldi's, so. You yeah, always blame me. You picked the bag up. They weren't even in a bag. Well, you picked them up literally one by one. Don't even say it, I have to edit it out. <laughs> so we are sauteing some onions. We got the men's green beans since they don't like broccoli. Green beans. We're cooking our green bean or we're cooking our broccoli here. We made those chips that I was telling you earlier about, some guac. Their steak is done. Say hi. Hi. Hello. He's more happy. <laughs> and pretty boy! Pretty boy's here. Yes. I hope you guys had a blessed Sunday and I will maybe vlog tomorrow but I'll let you guys know I don't know what the schedule is gonna be like so I'll keep you guys posted like I say in every ending of every part so guys always live life with a smile as he says it in the corner of the camera I will talk to y'all later